In this video, we want to talk about Burger Building Products snow retention for standing seam metal roof panels. I've got really just two tools here. I've got an Allen wrench and I've got a torque wrench with an Allen head in it. So all these guards have set screws that we want to clamp onto the panel. Now the S casting, it only has a screw on the high sides. So we want to make sure the screw is facing up. And what we do, we start tightening the set screw and we want to tighten it by hand, but only the first one do you have to tighten by hand. So you tighten it up until it feels nice and snug and then you back the screws out and you look at the dents it put in the seam. We want a complete round dent so that we know that the entire set screw has engaged the panel. It never penetrates or puts a hole in the panel. And there is a set screw on each side. This particular panel has a tapered seam, so you can tighten them accordingly to get this straight. So if you don't have a complete spherical indent or round indent, you have like a crescent moon, it's not tight enough. So we put it right back on the same spot and we tighten it some more. Then we want to back it off and look again. Once we have a complete round dent, then we know we're at the torque that we need. So we put it back, tighten the set screw to where it was, at that point, we can take our torque wrench, put the torque wrench on, and determine what torque it took to get to that point. We can then set all the rest of the snow guards on that roof with the torque wrench. Now, the reason we do that is that it could be aluminum. It could be softer. It may take more torque or less torque depending on the material and the roof panel that you have. So that's why we want to set them by hand, determine the torque, and then go. And that is the same for all these clamp-on style. There are a lot of different styles. Now this is an S-rail where you would actually have a rail in between the panels. This is an E-rail where you get a rail up high. And this is an F where you get rails low and you can get two up high. There are also various single types of snow guards available. And all of these snow guards are available cast aluminum, black epoxy primer, or we can custom paint them to match the panel. Now we've got clamp on here. We do not recommend a direct screw down type on a standing seam roof. Standing seam roofs need to float and we don't want to restrict that movement. That's why we recommend the clamp on style. And also there's a 28 foot pounds you'll see in some literature. That's a maximum. You never want to exceed that. If you exceed 28 foot-pounds, you could break the casting. You should never need anywhere near that to get these on the way they need to be. So for more information on these snow guards or any other, please go to burgerbp.com for burger building products.